What's that? I've already made a video like really discussing in detail about clutchless shifting and uh, maybe not explaining why it works but just kind of again really quickly how it works because I still get people like that'll ask me they'll see me in a video shifting and I'm saying I'm not using a clutch and they're like well how do you do that you know and basically the easiest way to explain it is you chop the throttle you can shift gears when you chop the throttle it still is, it, it essentially does the same thing that pulling the clutch in does because there's a little bit of play between the dogs and it, it just allows it to slip into the next gear in a constant mesh transmission you can do that and it's fine but watch this um the easy thing to do is like okay i'm in fourth right now if i just put like when, when you're learning how to do it at least this is the easy way i think to do it put light pressure on the shifter like i'm gonna pull up but not hard enough to like slam force it to shift gears but just a little bit and watch i'm gonna chop the throttle and it went to the gear on its own and then you can do it downshifting the reason a lot of people say not to do it downshifting is is because when you're off the throttle and you start clicking down with well, the engine actually underloads in the backwards way it's on downshift uh pressure but what you can do is simply bleep the throttle and it'll let you do the same thing like if you're off it like this i mean when you just initially chop it you can downshift it's not a problem but if you're on if it's cruising like this and you're on the throttle yeah downshifting is going to be rough but if you see like you just pop the throttle at the same time you you're pushing down on it it's the same thing just push down on the shifter you know you're just holding it down the engines when you're pulling the brakes and when you kind of while you're pushing you do that little is you know you're squeezing the brake and you kind of and it'll let it click into that next gear down all clutchless or you can just grab the clutch real quick and use it but i mean you know driving a bike clutchless is a little bit more of a Vermont like you got to be in more harmony I guess you will with the bike and what it's doing but it's it's not hard it's like once you learn how to do it it's very very simple we'll do it going up here into this turn and a lot of times I'll use it just because I'm not really paying a lot of attention the upshift one's going to be the easy one to get the hang of the downshifting one, like that. That's kind of the noise it'll make, just like that. And um, you know, you can get it pretty smooth. You do it a few times. I've always wanted to climb that hill, but it's always been way too uh, um, grassy. I'm gonna go climb it real fast. Usually, this thing is a hilarious joke to try to get up on top of because there's so much vegetation. You usually, just like. <laughs> Even with, I've, I've tried to go up this in knobbies and you get hung up like it's like so grassy and shitty. You get like fucking hung up on it. Got a giant fill, nothing to do. Got a giant fill, who would have known? If you want, you can make a little jump off a tiny little hump. Hump. A tiny little hump. That's about it. All right, bye. All right, bye. All right, bye, guy. I swear, I talk like I'm drunk all the time lately. I think I had a seizure. Fuck me. Normally, I have a. Ah! Pulled up in America. You know, this guy's got a water bottle here. Next to Will. Oh, yeah, yeah. Flags. Name. I said, you know, he's wearing a Harley shirt underneath, like this jacket he had on. Basically. Okay. Uh, yeah,